Hello again and welcome to my YouTube channel. In the previous video, we have learned how to enter and join a Google Classroom. So today in this video, I will show you how to submit an assignment that have been assigned to you by your teacher in the Google Classroom. So when you log into your Google Classroom app, you will see this page and you will see the classes the class where you are you are so here you will have to tap on the classroom here and you will have to enter so once when you are entered you will be able to see the assignment that has been posted by your teacher here this is the assignment so when you tap on that assignment here you'll be able to see what is the details what are the marks that have been allotted by the teacher concerned now here we can see that the due date is 31st august and the assignment is on chapter 5 and the marks allotted is 100 marks or 100 points and here here you will see that there are instructions being allotted or given by or the details given by the teacher so once the instruction and assignment are being uploaded by the teacher you'll be able to see it on your screen here so how to submit your assignment once you are done with your assignment so in order to submit your assignment you'll have to swipe up here you, you can see a small arrow mark here so you'll have to swipe up and you will find here at attachment so you can see that or the file that or the assignment that you have completed and then you have compiled into a file or PDF or maybe MS Word or whatever file that you have uh, converted into you can eat at it here as an attachment so you have to click here click attachment and you'll be asked to find your assignment so I have saved it in the file here so I will click here file so once when you click on file you'll be redirected to your internal storage here on your phone so you will have to sort out where you have uh, kept your file the assignment file so i have saved my file in my documents so i will try to click here up here and then i will try to find where is the document now i'll try to go into my inter internal storage here that is this is my phone internal storage so i'll click here and it will show me different folders that I have saved in my phone. So there are lots of folders here. Like I have said, I have saved my assignment in document, document folder. So now you have to search for the folder that you have saved your assignment. So here is my folder documents. So after this, I will click on documents. And here you can see that my assignment is already here. So now you have to click here and then it will be added as an attachment in your work now it's, it's loading after once it's loaded you'll be able to see here that it's already here I've converted my file into PDF and I have named it as my assignment so you can see it here so now after you attach your file now you will have to click here that is hand in just in case if you have more than one file then you can click here again add attachment and then you can also add more attachment or if you have chosen a wrong file then you can click here the cross mark and then you can delete or you can remove the the assignment or let's say the wrong f file and you can add it here another add attachment and now you have to click on here hand in to submit your assignment so i'll click here hand in or if you want to put a comment here you can also add a comment and then you can also send it to the teacher concern so i'll click on hand in to submit the, my assignment so there will be an option uh, display box saying hand in your work one attachment will be submitted for chapter 5 okay so it's confirmed so I'm going to click here hand in hand in 
once it's submitted you'll be able to see that there is no more option to add attachment and you'll be able to see that here unsubmit suppose if you have submitted the wrong assignment you can just click here and then you can ask submit again but since this is the right file and right assignment so i am not going to unsubmit it but you can just in case if you have not submitted the right right file or the right assignment you can just unsubmit and then you can also resubmit a new file or the correct file okay so this is how you'll be able to hand in your assignment so once after you hand in your assignment you can just swipe down and you can also go back to your page here and click on assignment uh, classwork down here that is down here and once you click here you, and then after clicking on the classwork you click here the assignment option here you'll be able to see that you have already handed in the option is already in here handed in so all the necessary details and instruction will be on this page the marks allotted or the points allotted by the teacher will be displayed here the chapter of the assignment and the due date will be also displayed here so we have one uh, this one option here that is three button up here so just click it and you can also refresh your page or you can also re send google feedbacks or whatever it may be suppose if it's not working you can just click on here send google feedback and then you can submit your feedbacks whether it is working fine or whether it's not working fine okay or you can also just refresh your page from here going back now <clears throat> you have already seen that we have already submitted the assignment now once you have submitted the assignment like i have said you will get an option saying that you have already handed in the assignment for the particular topic okay so this is how you can submit an assignment on the google classroom see you in the next video thank you